Last time on... Danganronpa. What's that powder since spilled out in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. There's one more bottle here that's labeled Chemical C9. Did someone put, put it there on accident? Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. These are footprints. They're only in front of the left shelf, which is interesting. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch that out the floor plan. By we, you mean me, because you're an ass and you're not going to do anything. Hmm. How kind of you to offer? And Sufferal's smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen, because he's an ass. Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Uh, okay. So I got to work, and before long I drop a sketch of the room. Which was a lot better than mine! Um, so, how's this? Not bad. For you, I mean. For me? I see. So when you look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. Well, no shit! He came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. That's what they tell me, too, looking on the floor! These footprints must be... Kodo, are they yours? No! Okay, let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. Couldn't there be a reason not to? So I finally did what Biakia said because he's a dick and he's gonna be wrong. I see, the feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Based on the position of the prints, where. Da 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 da, we already know this shit. Come on, on with it, Makoto. According to Biakia, the power would have had to have been still right around the time of the incident. Correct. You see that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. That was from the camera room. Well, the normal assumption would be... Either they'll bounce out, or the piece I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay then, let's give it a try. Huh? Broken pieces are heavier. One of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been written in bold, bloody letters. And it said, Toka. Hello everyone, this is our worthy advice to ever now in post-commentary again. I want to apologize for two episodes ago, was I think it was, where I had to cut out part of the game. Something popped up and blocked part of the screen, I had to fix that. So, I didn't note it, and I forgot to, and if I didn't, then it's not there. I'll go over the skills in a second that we just got, I'm going to open the handbook first. Time for the two bullets. We have Monokuma file number four. Gee, who saw that one coming? I think everyone saw that one coming. The victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death was estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at one point, the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Rec room door. The chair had been jammed against the door within the rec room, blocking access from the outside. It's believed that the killer did this to create a locked room scenario. So that's the doctor's body. She was singing a tear slump forward. She had the blood found around her mouth. Assuming from when she vomited blood, however, there was no injury or indication why she could or would have vomited blood. They need to help book stain. A blood stain was found in front of the shelf magazines. The blood is presumed to be Sakura's. There's currently no explanation for how a blood stain would have appeared. Look at our candy wrapper. It's a candy that, our, that Hina took and monopolized on. And she gave a piece of Sakura and it had this kind of wrapper. It's so monopolized that it would be impossible to obtain. The last shard on the floor, a piece of red glass was scared near the table in the rec room. Had to find a town bomb piece, it was concluded that the charge must come from a bottle. Which is the figure on the floor. Monokuma figure was found lying on the rec room floor. It fit roughly in the palm of your hand. Which goes into the Monokuma balls. There are a number of red balls on the shelf. There's four of them. Each side, each one is the Monokuma figure. Um, additionally, it's some, it seems to be some kind of unknown correlation, unless you know what you're doing. Empty protein drink that was found on top of the glass that we shattered. And has a label with Chem A2 on it. I know I'm free-flowing from the actual thing. Locker handprint. It was inside the rec room's open locker. It says the locker was open for the locked room. There's no way that someone was hiding in there before we opened it. He knows a cow. Sakura notes that Togo Biaki now is here asking to meet in the rec room. That gives him, and she's living under the person's door. Biaki said he, he did not go to see her from that note. In fact, I did not see her at all that day. Togo confirmed that she received the awkward note, but also claimed that she never went to see her. And, and, 
pocket trash of a small big garbage actually and he fell out of here you see his po- pocket it has a red it's a red piece of paper with red polka dots on it yellow powder that was found on the instep of Sakura's foot we're at 15 21 Kyoko said that Sakura suffered two blows to the head not one and no other blood was found on the head well you know we a ball experiment. We did test the balls and found that what that the what piece were heavier. Magazine we found the rack was upside down. It had toko on it. If you need to, you can pause this and look at this guys and get the full explanation. Chem last shelf A B C A was what we had for supplements. He had poisons. One was swapped. Source of power on the floor. Broken bottle. It was labeled Chem A four. And the power on the floor is assumed to come from this. And finally, footprints that were left after the powder spill. You can only assume that the suspect only had this in this area because they were on leftmost or section A. Set skills. We got two new skills from Hero this time. We got 20 SP and I used all our SP. Lost and Die increases the time that we have for the focus gauge. But during class trial. And... Crystal Prediction decreases an argument to three statements or less. Affected during the non-stop debate in both time of battle. Final strike. Costs five SP. It's very expensive. But instead of having five or more twofolds, we'll only be at max three. I had to do that by testing research and replaying a trial on hard mode to figure it out. I did not grab anything. All rise! I did not grab any Let's white noise during that. with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, where to begin? We already know who did it. Whoa! Deja vu! The one who killed Sakura... is one of the people that hated her! Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro! It was one of you! <laughs> Idiot. Uh, I had nothing to do with it. Yeah! I'd never kill someone, no way! I don't want to hear your stupid excuses! He's really sure that one of those three is the killer. But she must have some reason for believing that. <coughs> Make your argument! Hina's account! It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her! Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. The concrete reason why he suspects those three specifically. I think we got some. I'm sure she's mentioned it before in her account. That's the only thing we have. It was one of you. One of you killed. Oh, man, this is already starting off a little you all feisty. Had a you hated this her. Your, did he not possibly have done it? The way we're gonna fire this, and it wasn't it. Best way to start. Shoot. Uh, that was stupid of me. Well, at least I get to take it out more white you noise. You and what reason? Because you all have Fast forward. Hated her. Is that it? No, 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 no don't sword. Make okay. Oh, that was That's close. The only reason you have for accusing white us? noise. Nope, I'm just gonna fire. So just fire and get no, over with. But no, that's wrong. Let's go. Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. Can't disagree with Hina. There's good reason to suspect all three of them. Does that mean one of them did it? And right to the next one! Make your argument! Pocket trash! The fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them? There's no way that's not suspicious! One of you is absolutely guilty! 
I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. Bullshit. Come on. There's no way none of you went. At least one of you is lying. There's a clear contradiction in something one of them said just now, and we all know what it is. They didn't go see Sakura, then how can they explain it? How can Hiro explain that he has pocket the trash and never went to see her? One of you is I don't deny that I never went to see I didn't either. And we got the chipmunks right now, so I fire on and we get this one. No, that's wrong. And yes, the answer is the same on higher difficulty, just more options. Hiro, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? It was white with red polka dots. What's that got to do with anything? Red polka dots? That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's... it's... um... Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hiro, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Uh, um... Uh, well, I mean... Yeah, sure, I got it from her, but... But she gave it to me forever ago! It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her! When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was... When Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. What well, here said can't be right. <clears throat> the soccer could all have gotten the candy after he's in the nurse's office. The reason I know that is, the soccer got that candy. I got it! I'm not sure about that, Hero. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it! Uh, I mean, what I meant was, uh... Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? Why the sudden hostility? But we just talked! That's all! I didn't do anything! You gotta believe me! You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious! More hostility. It's not just normal hostility! You're the real culprit! I even have proof! Huh? The proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking what? about her shining message. What would a shining message even be? At the scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Toko did it. What are you saying? No way. I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Huh? Well... When we found Ogre's body! Duh! But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Huh. Hold on. When Joe found a magazine with that message in it, it was on the magazine shelf. Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. If that's true, <coughs> then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? Doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense! There's something strange about it. You found the dying message during the investigation, in which case, it clearly contradicts what Hero said, so... Hmm. 
Make your argument. Magazine dying message. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. You say he saw the dying message when he first found the body. Yes, I know. Where's the magazine? Exactly, he left another hole. Tell you exactly Jeez, are you even trying? Message. When Ogre's body was discovered. Boom. You no, said something. When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation. And you weren't at the murder scene. So there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, hero. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on. You're focusing on the wrong part. Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is. Toko! <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that one. Same. He's just trying to confuse us. Actually... Can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Um, yeah? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! And this is me talking, so you know it's true! Without a doubt? No, I still do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> The moment of truth! Yep, it's one of these! Show me the proof! I'm at least 30% right! The and I accidentally fired off here because that's me. Three, come on, get it, boo! That was quick, right. boo! Not Show gonna help. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bold. Those the final strike Give burning out. Final strike. Show me you the final strike. You're gonna have an ace in summary. I don't even know. Crowd's gonna get longer with their explanations. I'm not gonna have time to fire, so we're just going. Just roll with it. I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. Say what? Then who did write it? Hero could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? B because... Because I killed her! You're admitting to killing her? Please, just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... Sorry. Do you mind waiting? I had a couple other people to meet as well. Uh, okay. Hi Finn, how you doing? Borderline Stu as usual? Good choice. Like a piece of candy? Might help give you some energy. Oh, sure! Thanks! And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything.
everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was gonna try and kill me. She was gonna kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just... went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and... I ran away. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me, boil me, do whatever you want. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. We're ready Don't get a leash. Now, right? We know who did it. No, I think there's more to Hiro's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hiro's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. So what the hero did that doesn't make sense? You want to say it? What would he have to do after writing the message? It doesn't make sense. I got it! That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Oh, well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then, he's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Someone who wouldn't like what had been written. There's only one choice, and it's Toko. It had to be Toko, right? <laughs> who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Was he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait, but more important, that doesn't even matter. We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it. That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Who asked you? I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bottle, but that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious! That's just... I don't believe it! Hero, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so... what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but... okay. Now we're at the end of the case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer. I have to prove that. Make your argument. Yoga examination summary says Sakura's body and yellow powder. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And 
she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! You hit Sakura, that's for sure, but it doesn't end here. It's something that proves it. The wounds on her head. I didn't want to, but I did it. Call on the examination summary. I just gonna run it over and from the shelf tag it. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. But we're set up the rest of the game, by the way, on our actual. And you only hit her once, is that right? Skills. Yeah, just once. What you see Ogre have for the rest of the game, by the way, that's what we break. No, that's wrong. If Sakura died from Hiro's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Huh? Two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on! How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice? With two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? That's easy. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. According to the correlation to my cool balls, I feel like it's starting to become clear. That connection must be... The object of my cool figure inside each ball is holding! Hey, man's gumbit! Okay, we got a two-word puzzle. Now I'm gonna tell you this, because I've been in a certain club throughout high school, and telling myself I can't think that the most point in a year and a uh, second place player never faced me about graduating, I can tell you definitely what this is. Pawn, Knight, Bishop, Rook, King, and Queen. It's a chess piece. Now I understand. That's it. The chess pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn... I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was... The knight, if I remember. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. 
and on the ground was the knight. Oh, so the queen is missing. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene, while one apparently went missing. What does Chess have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No, it's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. Wait, when the ball that was missing... <laughs> it was excited! I got it! The bottle must have been broken. What makes you so sure? Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? It wasn't a single broken ball, and the evidence proves it was Yoga and I figured out before. It was the mushroom ball experiment. It was excited. Oh god. You okay, guys didn't actually pick that. It was an easy answer that the ball was broken. I got it! Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. Uh, so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces. Which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. There can be no doubt the same Mr. Machu Ball is involved in this case. It's been used by Sakura's second attacker. I got it. The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but... But there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it! No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. You did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. Gladly. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. What? Hiding in the rec room? Don't 
be ridiculous. Whoa, why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin. No, it's not ridiculous at all. I have, I need proof to show that Togo was hiding in the rec room. I have it. You just look there for anyone to find. You want me to bed a bolt? No! Absolutely fine. Do it. Got no choice in it. So far, you've been probably pressing the left mouse button during your final strike without a second thought. Now on, you're gonna have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Now you have to choose the proper bullet, true bullet to use during the coup de gras. You'll select it the same way as during the non stop debate. Only press Q key or use the mouse wheel, which I don't have a mouse wheel, so that's out of the question. I also like the debate if you logic difficulties set the kind of full, fewer bullets to choose from. But for educational purposes, we're gonna pretend that you're set to mean regardless. Just this once, okay? Oh, and by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go, you! Well then, good luck and have fun. Oh, I'm sure I won't. Why? The moment of truth! Why? I hate these things enough. Neither do two in the same case. I admit nothing. I know these changes to make it harder. I curse you. And I just fired off. I curse you too! It's a lie. You need more steak! Final strike! Did I shards on the floor? Lock your handprint or fear on the floor? Hey, Rec Room, don't be ridiculous! Wasn't. Oh, come on! You know which one it was! It was the locker. And you were too late. Locker handprint, miss! Ow! Full heart. Continue the fight with a one and a half hearts. That's enough. It's a lot. another double. Final strike again. Does he have it? This time he has locker That's hamper it. Enough. Fire it. This should prove it. I'm going to hate that. I am going to really hate that. Terrible mechanic right there, and I'm just feeling it. Did you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the locker? He must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? Yeah! Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Then you killed Sakura. No, I swear, there's no way. Out with it. I probably did kill her. Straight up again? Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk, now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go, but I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. Then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling. And when I turned around... There was Sakura, covered in blood, and staring right at me! When I saw that blood, I fainted, right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Her? You mean... Thank you! Ha <laughs> Guess who's back! 
was your fault after all. My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. And, well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find! Which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! <laughs> Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... you know... But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! That's good? Keep on talking like that and he's gonna... Well then, that's that. Let's start the boat. Huh? I thought for sure you had some words for Hero on that one. And stop trying to rush, girl. What's wrong? Come on, everyone. We're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. No. Not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. You wish is my command, darling! <sighs> it's not over yet, is it? The only kill soccer is... Make your argument! Kyogo's examination summary says that soccer's body in yellow powder! <laughs> I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me! I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. And you were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shell! Well, the second shot from Toby is what killed Sakura, and the problem is... Where did Sakura die? It was... Not what you thought I it was. was. Just peacefully. Well, we know so that Sakura's body is the key. I remember waking up right in front of the right magazine target. Shell. And you were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. Nope. So you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! I smashed her good! God, I, he's a ham. Right here. Take that and take this. Boom! No, that's wrong. We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. This has to be it. Well, that has to be it. There is a proof that there was an attack for the magazine shell. There's the blood. I got it! 
Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stained by the magazines is proof of that. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? But, but... Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. Ooh, so she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No, I don't think that's possible. The reason there's no way Toko was hiding in the locker is because... I saw it for myself. Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. <sighs> okay then, where was she hiding? I don't know, what's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying. No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. And? Well, well I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Do we really be missing something so important? There's another possible explanation, maybe it's... Make your argument! Yellow Powder on my Kuma File 4 and Hina's account! What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. So you're dead set on blaming me, huh? Yeah, I missed it, but... What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Basically, they're not looking at the full file, and you just want to tell them to look at the file, no and other it's... possible cause. What killed Sakura? Right here. Boom! No, that's wrong. The vomiting is what they're trying to focus on there. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean... Maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You even checked in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. Detective! Well, that's that clue. I just get to take for that later. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knees! She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can... explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! But you're the only one talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? 
not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections, A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements, in B, reagents, and in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Well, Poison Yaki just showed us. I'm sure I know where I got it. It was on the same shelf as all the supplements. I'm positive it was Section A. The poison was actually in Section A, wasn't it? Huh? But you just said that Section A was for supplements or whatever. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out, that's why. Wh what do you mean? I mean this. Chug, 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 chug. I couldn't believe my eyes. Yaki put the whole bottle of poison to his lips and. Huh? Master! We were so shocked at what we were seeing, all we could do was stand there and watch. It's as if you're, it was the most natural thing in the world. Yakia was as calm as ever. Ugh, that tastes awful. Oh no! Master's in real trouble! You have to drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Can I see that bottle for a second? Uh, sure. Do whatever you like. Yo took the bottle from Yakia and scraped out a bit of its contents with one finger. Touch her finger to her tongue. This is... It's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder. The poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? All poison that was actually filled with protein powder. I mean, that conversely, the pro poison must have been in. Could it be? Here we go, another one. Hey, man, it's Gambit! Akihiko would love this one. R. T. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I think it's next. I can never spell protein right to save my life anyway. I usually don't spell it. Okay, next is N. And then there's an N. No, I could have had I too. Darn it. That was a bad moment right there, wasn't it? I gotta do it as I want, but still we get this one. Just need an N now, because it's protein drink. Seems easy, doesn't it? Ta-da! Easy. Now I understand. The poison must have been poured into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Something at the scene. A protein drink. I got it! You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A 
protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know, I do remember Ogre saying the protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. As I chose to switch them, it has to be the footprints. That's what we're going to find on the shelf. Oh wait, a little drop of poison. Yeah, I know, I couldn't help it. The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. The footprints. They're mine. Uh, Hina? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then... Ogre's killer was... Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... Sneakers, huh? The only people wearing sneakers here are me and Hina that are still alive. I got it! Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Byakuya. That explains why you... These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? No! Okay then, let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. Oh shit. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? Yep. This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? Death wish. I... I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Plenty. Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But... When I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just... occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then... she downed it. All at once. And... 
and then... Hold it! I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism. But there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? <laughs> uh. That doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not. Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? No, I thought she made pancakes. If I do. Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious, too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That, that was... I was just nervous. So, I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah, that's just how it was. What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. But how come? That doesn't matter. Hina, please. I'd like to know too. F fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, right away I went to section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Okay then, go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder, and that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. You smell cheese? That is Swiss right there. That story you just told. First you went to section C to get the poison. Then moved to section A, meaning you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Sorry about that, that did happen. First you went from section C to get the poison, then you went to section A. It's protein, right? And you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Do I? And Viaki into section eight. E yeah. If that's true, isn't that a little strange? 
Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? How long? Until you figure it out. Until I uncover the full truth of this case. One truth prevails! Make your argument. Footprints in the powder, chem lab shelf, and source of the powder. Oh, that's a long First one. I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. Wrong. And that's where I switched the powders. Once I was done switching them, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in section A. Then I took the bottle with the poison in it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? Until I'm satisfied! In the chem lab, where, where there were the footprints of what the direction they were facing. That's literally contradict what Hina just told us. Well, finish it off, Nagy. Finish it. First I went to section C. That's when I grabbed yeah, the poison. Very easy, huh? And you spilled some of the powder on the ground. Yeah, in front not of the too shelf. hard. Yeah. Still. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. We just gotta wait for the right okay, moment, now we're gonna strike. Then, I moved from section C to section A. Boom! No, that's wrong. And break. Have you figured out who did it yet? I have no clue. And this is the first case that I think probably will go until the end before we find out who actually did it. Just so much, and there's so many holes that are still missing at the moment. I mean, some of you might have an idea, right? Well, either way, next episode we'll finish up this trial. So I hope you have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.